here. Welcome to Michael T. Porter's Skits and Stories. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, the subscribe button, that share button. Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms, and y'all know how I feel about my chising. If you guys like to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Michael US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. I was at the store today, and then let me let y'all know, I hate going out. I, there was a time when I was an itty-bitty little baby that I would love going to the store. I used to go to the store with my mama. I didn't have a papa. It was just mama and my itty-bitty little sister. I used to love going to the grocery store. Cause we were on welfare, and uh, we only went to the store once a month. So, them 29 days were brutal, but when we finally got that check, oh, we used to wait on that check, boy. Mama used to take us out to Jack in the Box. We used to go to the store. It was like Christmas on the 1st. So, those were the good old days, but now, eh, not so much. As you get older, what I'm starting to realize is that your patience starts to wear so freaking thin. Oh, it's thin, baby. My, my, my patience is thin. I've always had a mean streak, so it's always been a little bit wrong with me. But as I got older, it's like, me and Fuse is like this. Because we add those. If you 20 and up, and you still acting a fool, there ain't no excuses for that. You know better. So I'm at the store, and I see this man in the wheelchair. I'm very good at body language. I'm very good at body language now. I'm very good. So I seen this old man in a wheelchair. And just his body, in a wheelchair, I can tell by his, by his, his facial expressions, his, his movement. Because usually when people in a the chair, they move it like this. Mm, 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 mm. It, they, 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 they probably do a 360 in that bitch. Just, mm. But here's the thing. When he was hitting it, it was so aggressive. Mm, mm. And he's a mean old man. So I knew he was going to be a problem. I knew this old man in the chair was going to be a problem. So we were coming in together. We were coming in. And here's the thing. Oh, one sec, one sec. Anyone can make a career. Okay. So, yeah. I, I, I'm looking at it like, uh, okay. We, we came at the store at the same time. So I can feel his vibe. I don't know if he was a war veteran, wherever the case may be. So, we're doing our shopping. And just coincidentally, we end up in the same, uh, near the same uh, aisles. I was in aisle six and I was in aisle seven. Thank God I was in aisle seven. I had to deal with that foolishness. He was in aisle six. And the problem was the lines were long and this cashier was taking her time. The cashier was taking her time. I guess because she feels she ain't getting compensated as much as she should. So I guess in her mind, word on the street, you get what you pay for. You ain't going to pay me nothing. I'm going to give you nothing effort. How about that? Now, I don't know if the man in the wheelchair, he did he have to use the restroom? I don't know if he needed to go home and take his medicine, but he was tearing some stuff up. All he got was saying, hey, can you can you hurry up a little bit? Come on now, it don't take that long to scan. It don't take that long. So the first time when people get disgruntled, old folks, you know, people just you know the second time, Ray look a little bit of concern, but the third time, Paul Paul started Paul Paul started turning up. So the manager came by and asked him what seems to be a problem. He said, why is she taking so damn long? I've been in this line for 15 minutes already. Hurry up. He kept hearing, He kept screaming at the cashier. So the cashier looked around like, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a black woman. You know what she got? Mean. Uh, she looked at, I know this old ass man is not raising his voice at me. So she started going even slower. She started going even slower, y'all. So the manager tried to calm him down, and he went over to the cashier. He said, hey, can you pick up the pace a little bit? You know, this piece. And he's trying to explain to her to pick up pick up your feet a little bit. And she looked at him. She said, I'm doing the best I can. 
That's what the cashier told him. I am doing the best I can. Scan. Ooh, girl, what time I get off? Scan. The manager looked. <laughs> That's the best you can do. The manager was white. Older white man, mid-40s. I said, oh, this about to say. My line started to move. So her line's still going super slow. And he tried to get in our line, line number seven. And a lot of people wasn't having it. A lot of, just show you what kind of world with people wasn't having it. They were, they, were, they were not gonna let this old man come over here because they trying to get somewhere too. So he looked, hey, 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 let, let me over, let me over. He didn't even ask. He didn't even ask. You can't just bully your way. People say, hey, let me over. I only got a few items and I don't know how to work those kiosks. I need to get up out of here. Nobody let him in. That was probably one of the worst mistakes that people in my line did. This old bastard took his little uh, shopping scooter, the one he was sitting in, and ran over somebody's foot. He ran over somebody's foot. He, mm, he said, hey man, said, hey, 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 man, said, hey, man what you, what's, what's your problem? So while his leg was up, while one leg was up, the old man backed up his chair and hit the other foot. So he's like this screaming, and then the, the his other foot get ran over too. So the man falls on the ground. I said, man, I knew from the jump, I could just tell when somebody's going to be a problem. Everybody, not everybody's friend. Hey, what's going on with the old man? He said, you want some of this too? You want some of this? You want some of this? I, I, I got some for your ass. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he's all over the place. The manager comes out. Security comes out. They began to call the police. I said, oh, my God. All over, just trying to bag something. The old man just trying to bag his stuff up. I don't like going out. I don't like going out. Seeing too much. There's too much going on out there. It's just too much going on. But y'all leave me some commentary. Were the people wrong for not letting Paul Paul in? Or should Paul Paul should have been a little bit more patient? Michael T. Porter, skits and stories. I'm gone.